two, one. And we're back! Sorry about that. Uh, that appeared to be seconds for you, but it was at least half an hour as I had to uh, <laughs> uh, deal with a Windows update that's just like, nope, we're updating now. And this is the computer that is running the projector as well as the uh, as the recording on XSplit. You know how much we love Windows updates. Don't you like it when they, they update the feature that says, do you want to update? It makes it... You're updating now! I'm updating now! It's like, no, I'm in the middle of fucking thing! Do you want to update? Okay. <laughs> what no, is what okay. is CPU of computer? It's high. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! So uh, we're we're back. All right. So uh, just in case we uh, didn't get um, do a quick recap. So we went back in time during the winter. A shadow was chasing the um, uh, the wolf called the Rebel Prince, which is a local legendary wolf. He found that uh, in hunting one of these large wolves, a dire wolf, that he thought was the Rebel Prince. He tracked its he tracked its. Um, its movements back uh, down an ancient road that led to a precariously uh, situated castle upon a cliff. Shadow investigated after the wolves went out hunting and found that there was a guy, a, guy? a servant of the master, who still dwelled in this in this old uh, in this old uh, dilapidated castle. Shadow was invited in for warmth and has been the guest of the um, uh, of um, the master for uh, almost an entire season. He's been relegated to a very large room um, with no uh, clear way of, of exit and has been living off rats and bats and is currently starving. Things are bad. <laughs> Things are bad. Okay. Meanwhile, upon the road, Oscar is frugally getting everyone to chop up uh, all the wolf pelts and bits. Uh, who is doing the skinning? Yeah, let, let, let me show you something there, Sonny. This is how you make your way ahead in life. Yeah. You don't let things go to waste. Knowledge nature, probably. Uh, uh, knowledge nature or survival. Survival? Sounds like a good one as well. Right. There could there could be uh, tanning lore would also work. Yeah, shadow could do that really good for you. Oh, okay. Perfect. Let's let's find him. Let's get shadow. <laughs> uh, uh, Oscar it will lead the stealth or not the stealth the the, the survival. Yep. All right. Now what you want to get is the meat in one pile, teeth and bones in another pile, tails over here and belts over here. All right. I don't mind that. It's a little fucked up, this one, but we're just going to... like this? <laughs> uh, uh, Oscar gets a 23. Nice. Uh, okay, so mark down. You've got uh, five wolf pelts, and then three wolf... Peltettes. <laughs> pieces. Three wolf pieces. Um, bits from three wolves, I guess. <laughs> Uh, like their tails are still good. Right <laughs> <laughs> after this one, it's good. Right. <laughs> you can melt this head on the wall, but you gotta put it on sideways, you know? <laughs> and then, um. say wolf meat isn't very tasty, I say they just haven't tried hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> they paid too much for it. <laughs> Maybe it's <was> picky eaters. Happens <laughs> <laughs> to be picky eaters. <laughs> you rat there, boy. Must be nice to have that kind of money. <laughs> <laughs> Starting the server on the correct map tools. It's cool. Just so. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Oh, cool. Just add. Add so everyone can see what you guys see, not what the DM sees. Okay. <laughs> 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 you're, you're, change, you're looking to change. You're like, oh, no. yeah. I'm like, I have it backwards. All right. All right. After three seconds. Okay, so um, uh, both Oscar and uh, Krieger also spotted the wolf that ran away took the path of least resistance, which was a um, somewhat disguised via underbrush and sort of nature trying to retake it, but there is definitely a trail, uh, previously a road, similar to the one you were on, that leads uh, eastward into 
the dire wood. To the dire silver wood. And we did rest, correct? Yeah, you guys spend the evening there, you uh, you butcher some wolf carcasses and uh, uh, and take their hides, and then um, uh, spend an evening the side of the road. Next morning, uh, it rains slightly, and then there's just this weird fog kind of clinging to the wood. Everything is wet and damp and miserable. All right. I don't really like camping, says Ptolemy. He was... Uh, Slept on the bench inside the uh, is inside the wagon, and we had the fire just outside. <laughs> yep. No, no, don't worry, Tommy. We're uh, gonna find a nice burned out castle. Oh. Ooh. All right. Sounds drafty. Uh, yes. Uh, so you certain this is the uh, full bid civilization? Maybe the horses will like it. That's not bad, actually. That is an agreeable pun. Oh, yes. yes. I'm good at word puzzles. We should practice some later. Oh, I would like that very much. Um, over a glass of Chianti and get my Jimmy Jams on. It sounds lovely. Did he just <laughs> say Jimmy Jams? <laughs> I was just, yep. just, just looking at the like. <laughs> Don't worry, we have your back. <laughs> Very good going. Yep, the next morning, Crusher is up first thing. He does his prayers to the war god. Um, he finishes by punching a tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Disturbing a bunch of crows. Uh, we're going to pick... The, the lore for this day shall be survival. Okay, previously it was ghosts. It was ghosts yesterday. Yeah, but I don't think you asked for... I didn't do any rolls on ghosts, we didn't did find you, any did ghosts. Did you want to make a roll on Let, ghosts? Let's, let's make a roll on some ghosts. Mm -hmm. That evening, let's think about ghosts. Okay, and specifically you're thinking about ghosts in this wood. Yes. No, yes. So the thing we should do is, is have one more random encounter before we get there. <laughs> hey, yeah, a short nap. <laughs> a short nap. Uh, so, Marty. Yep. I rolled one. Uh, I have a total of uh, ghosts. It would be a total of seven. Uh, tell me anything you want about ghosts, and it becomes canon. <laughs> the dire superstition. The moment. dire Sylvan Wood are full of ghosts and spirits. Um, uh, the dire Sylvan Wood has f um, fairy ghosts in it. I've never heard of such a thing. Yeah, fake ghosts everywhere. Uh, I will on this day. It, it, it is generally believed, and you know you believe it, that these woods are indeed haunted, and that's why people are hesitant to cut down the trees here for fear of the fairy ghosts. You shouldn't. People are afraid to cut down trees here because the wilds have overtaken yes. and yes. haunted this place. Are you sure it's not all the wolves? <laughs> <laughs> the wolves don't protect the trees. Oh, grandfather here knows. He, he knows what Yeah, I, I know they don't protect the trees, but I'm just thinking, there's a bunch of wolves. I don't want to cut down trees there. <laughs> no, he, he has a valid tree. I'm sure he does. Are wolves and ghosts mutually exclusive? No, you, in fact, you'd think that they'd be, like, connected. Like, the more the wolves kill, the more ghosts are around. That's a fascinatingly horrible thought. We're going to adjust our spell selection, so we're going to dump Divine Lance, and we're going to take Disrupt Undead, <laughs> because ghosts. <laughs> Alright, and then you switch up your skill to survival, thinking about all the books No, we read. kept it with ghosts, because uh, I'm afraid of the fairies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you leaving your cart on the road, or are you taking it down this rough trail? We, we aren't leaving our horses to be eaten by... We ain't leaving the horses to be eaten by wolves. Pay good money for them horses. <laughs> Anybody's eating these horses, it's us. <laughs> I don't like what you think. 
There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't want to eat the horses. So the horses are coming with us, one way or another. The road is incredibly bumpy. The horses are like running through underbrush, and uh, and you guys, it's a little bit slower going. Uh, Crusher still. Crusher's on top of the spear. Crusher's on top of the uh, the wagon at this the point. Spear. Okay. Well, going down the bumpy road and it bouncing around, you're basically kind of hunched down, holding on to the side. Well, it's a big thing. You lie over the top, you <laughs> yeah, lie over the top of it, you lie on your back with a spear or something like that. So, <laughs> yeah. Every once in a while, there is like an overhanging branch <laughs> yeah, that, that kind of rakes the top of the uh, that rakes the top of the. Uh, and these guys, three guys, are about laughing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, don't hit that up there. <laughs> Uh, just in general, throughout the day of going down this uh, going down this rough trail, uh, what I need from Al Kerr is a um, uh, a nature check, like how well he, he rides the animals, and then I do need an acrobatics check, just as as you get raked by pine needles multiple times throughout the day. If it's gonna happen. I'm gonna jump. I, 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 I eighteen the animals. Okay, so um, yeah, you are able to. It's a bumpy trail, but it was a road and it has tracks. Uh, and you are able to avoid any damage from the pine needles, aside from a little bit of um, pride, Scratch. perhaps <laughs> like a few scratches and some. You smell like pine, uh, maybe the a little bit, of, maybe a little sticky sap. You're like, oh, my, my fucking eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you spend uh, nearly the full day going down this trail. Um, it, it was difficultish terrain in parts uh, for your wagon. You went through some like really, really, uh, like, deep puddles that you managed to just kind of, like, fly through with momentum, uh, and then there were some rough, bumpy parts that had Ptolemy complaining. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> this is not a fun thing. Just think of it like playing pony. I would just... <laughs> I'm going to be sick! Up, he opens up the... the, the <laughs> that he opens up the front window. Yeah. Alcar <laughs> <laughs> takes no Could you slow right? down? <laughs> no, Alcar's like, no, if we slow down, we're going to get stuck. No, uh, no, we need to keep momentum. Okay. Splashing through brackish, you know, kind of dark blackish water and really, really, uh, really rich mud uh, and just kind of plowing through trees. The front horse, you, you're pretty sure if you have to do another day of this, you're going to switch the front horse around. Yeah. Uh, because the front two horses are getting lots of, like, the branches and, and mm -hmm. uh, 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 they're getting bruised a little bit, but you manage to avoid the worst of it. You do travel an entire day um, and um, night begins to fall again. I'm going to give... Uh, Percentile. Can we uh, find an area that's sort of like clearing? That we're clearing so we can yeah, wolfie, 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 wolfie. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Come on, one more king catcher, one more <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, uh, night falls. You do find a nice spot where you can actually like pull the pull the wagon off to the side of the road. Wolves. Preparing for camp. Okay. Preparing for wolves. So, clustering your horses close to the wagon. Uh, actually, can we set up a building bunch of a fires? fire? What's that? Can we set a bunch of fires? You could set. You could. You could set a bunch of fires. Yeah. So put like uh, four fires around, and then one in the center. That's where it would be. Okay. Kind of give us a bit more of a heads up. These things are showing up. All right. So I'm going to use the same map. I'm going to. Top down forest road. Crusher is yelling to you guys like, "All right, we'll shut camp here." He's by no means leader. <laughs> he says, "This is what the military does." We'll <laughs> like, Jerry and I, we'll get the wood. You, why don't you try the horses? You, <laughs> just rattling off. Just <laughs> why don't we let the woodsmen figure out the camp? You and I will take a gander around, make sure we're safe. Camp is a camp. Set fires to make sure we have defenses. We don't want to offend the ghosts, so we should be careful with our fires ghosts. until civilization comes in force to reclaim. 
been taking your medicine. I have some little... I have no medicine that I... Hey, what's a thing that's the side of the road? A thing that's the side of the road? Yeah. A old tree? Uh, it's like swamp. a big, big rotten stump. Swamp thing? An old hunt camp. Yeah. Or a... A fuck you skull on a stick. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking like it's a weird ritualistic thing. Like, ah. Okay, uh, it's like a it's like a hunt shed. That's for thousand corpses. Uh, it's old. It's leaning over. It's rotten. You can almost see through it. But at some point, somebody had constructed a shed out this way, uh, and there's flat enough ground where you could actually turn your uh, uh, turn your wagon around. And go ahead and set your camp. Alright. Well, we'll make sure there's no one or nothing in the shed first. Yeah. yeah, you can see through it. You kind of go over the shed and you give a kick to the door of the shed and the thing falls in and there's some like old rush, rusty tools. Um, you find a shoddy skinning knife, uh, a shoddy shovel, and some rotten rope. Nothing but garbage. Sorry, Oscar. <laughs> okay, this is uh, there you are sure valuables you? in here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there gotta be something you can rub together. Mm. What conditions are the women? Is it rotten? Yeah, it's like okay. seen too many seasons, no one's replaced the wait, no wait, wait, replaced wait, wait. Wood. Let's uh if he came through here, wouldn't uh like uh what's his uh, shadow? Orc boy, come down, take a look in there. No. You have to stay away from it. Oscar's going to go take a look for signs of of a orc. Okay. 20, survival. Nice. Is that a nat 20 or uh, uh, 15 a 15 plus 5. Dirty 20. D dirty 20. Dirty, okay. dirty 20. Dirty 20. I like the... I like the uh, so, Shadow would come through here and do yeah, you don't find any signs of uh, uh, of a of an orc. Uh, you do find signs that uh, the wolves might come sniffing around in here. Like part of the back of wood has been rotten, and like a, a wolf could probably move in and out. Uh, you sign, find signs of like mice and critters. A bird, an old bird's nest. Coat of paint could be a summer home. <laughs> well, Krieger just. Kick in the door, like like it, the like door just rusted right off its hinges almost. And hey, you fix that. <laughs> <laughs> just prod it back up. Okay. Uh, it does have floorboards. Oh, let's take a look underneath. Um, don't you okay. have a way to detect Give me a magic. d6, six, you find something valuable. I was like, don't you have a way to detect magic? It's called my eyes. <laughs> Yo, <what's laughs> roll the roll two. two. Okay, uh, you find a rabbit burrow under there. <laughs> That's rabbits? valuable. Uh, See food. Yeah, you scare you scare a rabbit. I get him. Clear <laughs> <Where are> you. <laughs> I got him, says Ptolemy. No, 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 Two D four plus eight damage to the uh, to like two hit, two hit rabbit. <laughs> uh, he does uh, nine damage. <sighs> My lord, <laughs> I got him. Oscar's gonna go over to the smoldering bits of corpse. Yeah, you're kinda, <laughs> kinda kick, you kind of kick uh, it out. He's gonna chew on a piece. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you're like, well, that's some of it's kind of good. That's Perhaps it's best you leave the hunting. To your hunters, sir. I didn't know I had hunters. Yes, sir. Anybody else? <laughs> <laughs> right. It was a good shot, but a little too much. It was. It's exhilarating to be out and casting spells. Well, good. But sometimes it's, you don't need to cast spells. I was always too afraid to use the produce fire cantrip to kill the possums. I didn't want to set my house on fire. Probably a wise decision. It's good to be cold. But it's all wet out here. <coughs> yeah, it wouldn't be a problem. What style of architecture is this house? Or this shack? Like It's a shack. It's a 
wooden just wooden shack. Oh, it's, it's, it's we found some wooden nails. Yep. In shelter. But I think it's five years old, ten years old, fifty years old. Oh, it, like when do barns start collapsing? Uh, without maintenance. Yeah. It's not that long. It's like eight years. Okay. Well, as soon as water gets in the roof, it's fucked. Yeah, this this thing is lucky to have been still standing. It's like yeah. twenty years. Yeah. Yep. It's it's also like a day down the path. So, you know, like, might be good hunting out here. Um, it's like three three years after there's a hole in the roof is when the thing falls down. Yep. <laughs> it could be shelter. There, you find signs of really old uh, uh, campfires. Yep. I guess it's going to be home for that. Works for me. This is just tragic. <laughs> We, else the same size we have not come to reclaim the forest, fairy spirits. Not well, on this day. Just passing through. <laughs> we want to reclaim our lost heathen. Uh, why don't we use uh, some of the walls to protect the horses? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wedge them in there. We could probably do that. Where are you setting your campfire? With, with the so there's, there's an old, there's an old yeah. campfire. Old pit, pit there. Yeah. I think the horses will go beside Oscar there, and then the wagon sort of a little bit, so a little bit east of there. East. Yeah. Uh, no, no, there. wagon needs to be closer to the fire. Oh, okay. I'll get cold. Move, move, move back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tommy. Tommy's like dips on the dips on my chair. Sword in the ground, you cast light. light on it, and then you pick it back up. Thank you. There we go. Now we are a beacon in the darkness. That doesn't sound very good, says Tommy, picking his head out the window. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. pretty sure he peed out the other door, like he doesn't <laughs> want to leave the, uh, the safety of the, uh, <laughs> of the wagon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a. Uh, I'm pretty certain I could see us from, uh, basically from Ptolemy's place. <laughs> see it, uh, pretty far out. Dwarven eyes are that good, huh? Mm. Mm. <laughs> and the smoke rising here. I, that, or the giant Latinx fell, or... What do you think possessed Shadow to come out here alone? I believe the technical word is idiot. It's probably hunting. Mm. But why go this far? Was it worth it? I don't know. He's obsessed with killing the large wolves. But finding them, I don't know. Something pushed him over the edge to find this prince. I hope he's all right. For your sake. Your <laughs> uh, family's no, you, always a bitch, isn't it? You know who your family You know who your father is? Yes, he's always been a little bit of trouble, so that's all. Oh, you just hide out of the fire. It's always good to give one a friendly home. Yes. Sometimes you can help someone more through love than abuse. You're asking for a husband. I wouldn't mind that. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. 
they're there, they're there. <laughs> wait, wait. What's funny is Alcur is tiny. Crusher is huge. <laughs> they're there. Okay, <laughs> who is taking a watch? Ptolemy is not. Uh, no, uh, Oscar will take a watch. Yes. For Monty, just we'll take a watch. <laughs> I'll, I'll okay. take a watch not with Oscar. So we'll create your... Uh, and, uh... I, so I think, uh... We have... Are we doing two watches or three watches? I think three. If we're doing three, then who's the solo watcher? Uh, who's got a really good perception? <laughs> Krieger is got plus six. Okay, so you either have... Or morning, like, like dawn, or, uh... Dusk or Dawn, big one. Uh, uh, so, uh, Al is going to have watch with uh, uh, Darian. Okay. And then... Well, we've got two dark fishing guys. Right, so then it's basically... Yeah. I think Oscar will watch by himself, and then it'll be... Uh, Beat Crusher Sticks. and Krieger? Yeah. Okay. Is I trust you. Is there a particular, <laughs> particular order? Uh, the first watch will be the non-dark vision guys. Okay. These guys. Yep. Uh, all right. Oscar will have the uh, the dead and that. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. All right. Yeah. So I'm gonna roll a d3. Why didn't Alcar get closer uh, to the fire? It is with you. It's not on the outside. Just gets dragged. <laughs> all right. Um, Alcar and uh, and Darian's watch goes by uneventfully. Uh, it is. Uh, the forest full of creaks and sounds and critters and birds. Clearly, and evil fears are righteousness. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, where are you guys sleeping? Uh, closer to the fire. <laughs> okay, so Alcar is sleeping yeah. close to the fire. Yeah, so, so is uh, so is Darian. All right. All right. Yes, and mind mind your skull. Mind your skull. <laughs> Don't get stepped on by holes. <laughs> All right, Oscar's dead of night um, watch goes by uneventfully. Uh, there's a a chill wind that happens at around the uh, devil's hour, and Oscar's mind thinks of Alcar's stories of ghosts. I got my fingers. Be afraid no ghost. <laughs> kind of over here, Ptolemy, kind of sleeping, kind of muttering in his sleep. Yeah, Oscar's basically hiding in the uh, where the where you drive the cart. Okay. Like uh, kind of hiding in the front of the cart, yep. kind of thing. <clears throat> All right, sitting on the bench, the oldest man of Ptolemy, kind of sitting down like low on the bench, yep. and you're listening to Ptolemy. Uh, Oscar knows that there's something about this land that is just wrong. You've always had that feeling, like when you worship in a temple of the Heart of Gold, it, it staves off that wrongness. There's something, there's a cruel edge to things. Just as well, I guess all Oscar's ever known. Your uh, sleep comes. It's time to change the watch. Crusher and Krieger are awake. Where are you guys spending your watch? Uh, just a little bit away from the fire. <laughs> Oscar tries to wake uh, the orc up by throwing a rock pebble into his mouth. <laughs> just like. <laughs> You're watching. Okay, Crusher, where are you watching from? Next time, you, next time I'm waking you up. <laughs> where are you watching from? Um, Crusher's gonna go on top of the uh, cart. Car the wagon? Yeah. The tall music. Whoa, whoa, what's that? Just go to sleep. It's Stomp around up there. Uh, question: Can I can I reach all around the car with my spear? Yeah, if you go running around the car, you can reach down. Okay, so it's not considered like I'm riding. 
No. Okay, so I have to run around. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go to the side closer to the horses. Kinda, kinda sit there and wait. Uh, and then, actually just above the economy. Like, not, not literally above, like, yeah, over. Alright, looking down the road. Um, I meant the up the side. Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna keep my eye on Krieger as well. Keep your eye on Krieger? Yeah. Okay. Krieger's kinda at the edge of the, the firelight and just waiting. When he does when when he thinks you're not looking, he's like tra- practicing roundhouse kicks and almost falling on his ass. <laughs> 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 uh, It is just as the light in the sky is just starting to, uh, like there's a a growing band of blue. It is bef- just before twilight. I need uh, actually the two of you here. Something big and winged kind of passes over your camp. Uh, Crusher has dark vision, so I'm going to give give you a perception check to see this thing. No. I perceive nothing in my stupidness. Uh, six, uh, seven, seven, sorry. Seven. Oh, jeez, you suck. Yeah. <laughs> Wisdom. So, you rolled one? I rolled, uh, no, I rolled three. Three? Okay. Uh, whatever it was, it kind of, you were watching the forest and watching uh, uh, Krieger act all goofy while well, Krieger was just sort of leaning up against the side of the building and he actually was kind of putting his shoulder into the uh, rotten wooden beam and kind of going, all right. <laughs> 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 like, I, I can push this over. <laughs> uh, you don't know what it was, but it was big. It kind of like swooped down over your camp and you can hear the wings moving around it. Oscar. Uh, give me a Something perception here. check, Oscar. Uh, uh, 23, I think. Wait a second, don't I have my perception memorized? Uh, 25. 25? Okay, so Oscar is awake now. There's this high-pitched keening that only non-humans pick up uh, as a bat the size of a horse um, with great with great midnight wings is flapping in towards Crusher, who's standing on top of Do the... Uh, half-orcs count as non-humans. I believe they count as both humans and not humans Yeah, yeah. We'll say we'll say that it just bugs uh, it bugs um, uh, some of the non-humans, uh, which means that they're going to get a, a bonus... To perception, if they are in, indeed sleeping. So let me just look at the uh, uh, sleeping rules. Look at that big fuzzy bitch. And then Crusher standing on top of the. Smears up like this is yeah. some pick me up. Take take groceries back home. He's <laughs> off to see the wizard. <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> they look at me I think it's my 
minus four. Minus four? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think it's under perception. <clears throat> or uh, unconscious condition. Let us go to the combat sheet. Yeah, unconscious condition is minus four perception. And that's where sleeping is. in your initiatives. We've got Dire, Bat. Here, we'll just roll a bunch. Just say the names and all. Just, here. Yeah, Twelve. Twelve? Nine. Nine. Fourteen. Fourteen. Thirteen. Thirteen. Six. Six. Thirteen. Thirteen. One more. Thirteen. Thirteen. That's it. That's a lot of thirteen, son. I have <laughs> uh, hor Horses are going to go to go at Alker's turn, because Alker is the guy who touched them last. And <laughs> the dire bat. There's something in the sky. Yeah, it's not even be here anymore. Oh, there is. Oh, 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 shit. <laughs> <laughs> it has a wingspan of 15 feet. And a scrunched up face and angrily screeching as it's as it's coming in towards uh, towards all of you. All right. Uh, the dire bat gets to go first, so we'll say that it took a fly action already to get there. And it's flying in again. It's a big slow flyer, and then it takes a third fly right up to Crusher. It's basically like kind of swooping in and kind of coming at you, and it's climbing on the side of the wagon, and the horses are. Here we go! <laughs> being uh, staggered awake, and then um, you also see that are here. There might be a couple more of them. Not your level. Oh shit. There's everybody up! <laughs> doosh, doosh, doosh. <laughs> Oscar, you're awake. Uh, shit. Uh, can I see him from where I'm at? Uh, you can see big shape, two more big shapes in the sky, uh, like they're responding to the uh, to the high pitched screech of the one that's like <laughs> scrambling. It's yep. like it, it's like walking with its lay, with its uh, with its um, uh, wings, kind of on the side of the uh, side of the wagon. The wagon's yep. going like this because it's like a uh, 100, 200 two hundred pound bat that's uh, landed on top All of it. Right. <clears throat> uh, so we're gonna kind of well, shit. Uh, I hope you got that one. <laughs> I'll just gonna move over and, ah, move over oh. and kick, kick uh, <laughs> just give him a kick. Okay, ah. <laughs> move Darian, you can kick both Alker and Darian, they're both now awake. Get up, you just popped up. <laughs> Unnecessary! <laughs> Alker, you're awake. Uh, uh, oh no. Uh, you stand yes. up. Okay. And on this day, we will be blessed from what to from the ghosts that attack us in the darkness. <laughs> Stand up and bless. Okay. Um, how far does that go up? Five feet right now. Five feet. <laughs> nice shimmering golden light. Nice lure for the bats in the darkness. Darian. Well, Darian pulls out his light sword. And we're start <laughs> uh, he uh, stands up, pulls out his sword. Pulls out his shield. Okay. Shield up. No, I mean, that's three stand actions. Stand up. Ptolemy, someone, uh, let's roll the golden one for Ptolemy and see if he wakes up with all this noise. There. Oops. He rolls uh, a two. He is sleeping like a baby. Uh, I would say just he, he's shield up and then shield Thank you, Mommy. Yep. <laughs> I picture him, I picture him with like gear on. No, he's he's, he's, he's got like a, a sleeping pajamas and a, a sleeping cap. And he's a Scrooge looking. <laughs> <laughs> with the with the little like flap for the button <laughs> flap for the bottom. Yeah, I gotta go when you gotta take a deuce. All right. <laughs> uh, it's all fuzzy. Okay. Uh, bone crusher stripes. Uh, going to go mountain stance and. I'm Murray. He's going to stop on the roof. <laughs> yeah, <stop. laughs> Start attacking Not so loud. <laughs> You're talking. <laughs> so. I don't want to go to school. <laughs> 12. Plus. Seven, so. 7. 19. 19. Uh, are you trying to strike it? Yeah. 
and then um, minus is it minus three minus six? No, it's minus four because you use mountain stance. Yeah, so for the second one. So so minus four, minus eight. Minus four for the second one. So sixteen, and then the miss. Okay, uh, the 16 misses, the 19 hits. Uh, 10 damage. Okay, it's going to use its wing thrash, which is a trigger, and adjacent enemy damages the giant bat effect. The bat makes one or two wing strikes, one against the triggering creature and one against another adjacent creature. So it's going to take a wing... It's uh, the anti <laughs> It's going to take its wing melee attack as a trigger. You still get to... You hit it. You... Do your damage. You hit it first. Yep. They unnerfed giant bat. They unnerfed those things so. In Pathfinder 1E, they were just big flying sacks of hit points. With no AC and not enough hit points to actually get to you, and if you rode them, it'd be like, yeah, two arrows kills it. Okay, so really how much damage did you do? 10 damage. 10 damage, okay. You you kick the bat in the nose, it doesn't like it, and a wing comes raking in towards you. Uh, not again. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, uh, this is the pink die. Great, now uh, the big flying wolves. The, wi the, wi the wing thrash is at plus 10, hits an AC 13. <sighs> so you actually use your use your, your spear to kind of jump over the wing as it, as it comes down. Uh, and that was bone cry, and then you mit, and then it backed away from you, kind of half fell off the wagon, and climbed back up viciously. Krieger, Mark. he is going. Oh, he's going to stand up. It had oh, Krieger two, was had awake. This is during Krieger's. Oh, I thought you said watch now. No. All right. Uh, he's going to. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so it's landed, right? This thing is landed on the side of the uh, the wagon. Yeah. How, can I get there in two strides? Uh, what's your movement? 30. Yep. So we're gonna rage. You can actually get to there in two strides. That's what we'll do then. We're gonna rage and okay. use sudden charge. Which allows me to stride twice and attack. Okay. <laughs> so like, ah! You go running around! <laughs> Basically running around the, uh, the side of the wagon, kind of holding on to the corner as you come in. Thing hisses at you. AC, I'm outside the bless, so AC 25. That is a hit. Okay. It cannot use its wing thrash trigger because it already triggered it. Mm -hmm. uh, 16 points of damage. Holy shit. Okay. 16 points of damage. It is in single digit hit points after the, uh, after the punch and the kick. <coughs> Crunching its back. It looks all fucked up, but it's still there. Dire bats. Okay, this one is going to respond to Krieger. Going to try to bite you. Is everybody alright over there? <laughs> uh, plus ten fangs. AC twenty nine. Uh oh. Shit. Is that a critical hit? That's a. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so 2d10 plus 8. Uh, that could kill. <laughs> no, it'll make you die. Uh, 18 damage. He's still standing! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Alright, it's going to wing rake, uh, kind of crusher as it's turning around. You fucker! Uh, this is agile, so instead of minus 5, it's minus 4, I believe. Uh, it, you would want to wing rake first. Oh, too late. Yeah, yeah so it's like, you want to use the agile weapon and then your big weapon. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh well, so minus 5. So plus 5. AC 18? Yes. Alright, and it's last attack, it's basically bowling, it's rolling a 20. It's it's its other wing on, on, on the crush. AC 4. And I'll just confirm that. Critical. Okay. <clears throat> These two dire bats are flying around. And they're slow flyers. But it's now buzzing at the top of the trees. And this one's gonna... Shadow. This one lands in the road. Marty? Yep. 
I, I'm actually using that backwards. Okay. So it is, it, it's the penalty you take, not the penalty that you build. So it is, would be a minus four. Okay. 19. So, does that hit you? AC 19, my AC is 19, so that would hit, yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, okay. Am I 15 feet away from uh, Gary? Seven. <coughs> seven damage. Okay, am, am I 15 feet away from Darian? Uh, you're on top, so no. You're I have goals. That's 15 feet plus height, so you're, you're a little further than that. Se seven damage? Yep. We do we. One of the, uh... Kill it! There's more! Yeah, there's more right here. This one lands on the ground and is kind of crawling along the ground. <laughs> Making a noise that's coming closer to you. And this one's still flying around in the sky. Oscar. Well. Sometimes dwarfs gotta do what dwarfs gotta do. See if I can... Fucking running down the road. <laughs> is going to uh, draw his rapier mm -hmm. and is going to oh no oh, okay we're going to draw our we're going to draw uh, the dagger and throw it at it okay and then draw a rapier shut it AC 26 uh, that hits it with a dagger. You throw the dagger and in, in, like into its ear. Look at that, my dagger. <laughs> uh, six damage. Six damage. Okay. Uh, it didn't like that. It, it kind of raked at his ear. The dagger plopped to the ground and. Uh, Alker. Dex, because I'm awesome. Alker. Uh, Alker is going to. How, how much how, blah, 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 blah. getting to Krieger is going to be how far? Uh, try, to, try to go as like as efficiently as we could. If you go through the horse. Uh, so it's thirty-five. I will spend. Yeah, yeah. I will, I will spend a. Touch. I will spend a focus point. Okay. To um, get over there, he's more than thirty feet away. Uh, so I spend a focus point to get a thirty-five foot move speed and just ignore difficult terrain. Okay, so you kind of hike through where all the horses are. The horses are, are kind of uh, nervously nickering uh, and uh, um, the, the, through the side well, of the road. I want to get the, the bless them. Um, and then I'm going to do a two action heal on Krieger. Okay. Krieger just kind of emerges from the horses and his glowing hand Fifth, touches Krieger. Oh, thank you. <laughs> a, a golden aura with all these like little weird motes and dust. He's all kind of like. Flashy and uh, golden. Right now, I'm really, bis I'm really close to the monster now. <laughs> <laughs> Darian. Darian is. Uh, I, I'm guessing he doesn't sleep in half plate. I think there are rules against not sleeping in half plate. So. Uh, uh, oh, he is without armor right now. Okay. So you're using your unarmored. Boy, you're out here with a shield and your dangle just sort of flapping around. Man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Man's Raise gotta, his shield. <laughs> man's gotta give himself some sleeping leathers. <laughs> hey, you moving in? Yep. Okay. Shield up. <laughs> so okay, shield okay. up, move, and you still have a strike. Yeah, I'm gonna strike him. I was waiting for like a... 8C. It's a thing of beauty there. AC 20. AC-20 hits the giant bat, your blade goes thrusting into its uh, shoulder. We're going to make beautiful music Eight together. <laughs> Eight damage, it's going to take its reaction. What is that? Six. Its reaction is called Wing Thrash. Wait, that only has eight damage. Uh, plus ten. Is I hit it. Rolls a nat one. Oh, you kind of like brushed its wing uh, uh, angrily against your shield. <laughs> you bring your shield back in. I hear five voices saying, "No, sir." <laughs> <laughs> five voices. That's uh, awesome. uh, I get that. Tell me, he's like, what? What? "What's what's going on?" <laughs> uh, he he go. He basically gets up five foot steps, opens the door. Gets up five foot step, opens the door. 
and he's now staring at the giant bat <laughs> with this weird expression on his face. That's big. <laughs> Their possums fly around here. Uh, <laughs> Bone crusher. It's a bat. Uh, flurry. Uh, 18. Uh, yeah. Flat, no, flat footed with Krieger is 16. This is... No, I... I, I breeze on 2d20s. Uh, okay, so you're like... <laughs> okay, you've got two more attacks. Uh, minus 4. So plus 3, 17. No, actually, minus 8. Uh, no, it would be... Yeah, it'd be minus 8. Uh, so minus 1, so 15. 15 misses. Uh, the... The... the the car just bouncing around too much. Yes. And then you, you kind of slip a little bit and fall and get back up and... Shadow boxing is great. Krieg. <clears throat> hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Nope. AC 16 uh, flat footed? 11? Blessed okay. be those who hit. <laughs> yeah, more attacks. Keep swinging. Uh, Why are you attacking the carriage? <laughs> there we go! <laughs> uh, you hit? Yeah, uh, AC 20. Uh, oh, dirty or, or a dirty 20? A dirty 20. Yeah, yeah, dirty 20. Okay. I like that. Oh, max damage, 22. Um, All right, so you hit the side of the thing. He's like, why is he attacking the carriage? You kind of bring it up and you, you look at the hammer, look at the head, and BAM! <laughs> 22 damage. <laughs> you drop it to minus 20. Nice. Something around there. All right. And it slides off the carriage. Okay, we're next. <laughs> and I guess he'll start striding towards the other one. Okay, not yet. <laughs> no, he'll need to go back. Okay, so, right here? Yeah, uh, extra another five feet. Krieger with a crazed look in his eye. Hey, you're raging, right? Yeah. Oh. Dire bats. Oh. Well, this thing's gonna... Teach Darian a lesson. He's trying to climb over your shield. Knock it out with the uh... old. <laughs> Nat 20. That's a bad. I feel disturbance in the law. <laughs> a 9 on the first die. How many hit points do you got? 21. Okay, so that's 17. So we're at first level here, Marty. And I roll 1, so 10. That is 18 damage. Ow! <laughs> Ow! It climbs up on your shield and... <laughs> All right. oh, I think I need to be on the other side of the battle. <laughs> Second attack. None of us will Rolls a two. He's wearing a sock. I <laughs> uh, know he has his unarmored defense, and he's got a shield up, so yep. his AC is not too bad. Uh, this thing has a plus, uh, so AC seven misses. Yes. Yes. And the third attack is at minus ten, so we're just bowling twenties. Actually, unarmored defense is actually pretty decent. Actually. That's true. So you can and I roll and I roll a three, so AC three. All right. Hey, uh, you got right on it. You're very irritating right now. <laughs> okay, so this, ah! <laughs> this dire bat lands on top of the shed, and I'm going to roll a flat check to see if the shed just collapses under the weight of the uh, uh, of the dire bat. Uh, basically, it's a DC five flat check. I roll eleven. The shed is leaning and groaning, but the thing is climbing along the top of it. Some of the old shingles are flying off of it. Uh, so it flew. It landed. And kind of has to like scoot its way up uh, to get down, uh, hanging off to get down towards where Oscar is. And we'll try to. Might play. I interest you in the taste of horse? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! What? Oh, uh, plus ten. AC twenty-five. That hits. Not crit. No. For thirteen damage. Uh, ow! <laughs> biting, biting your shoulder and kind of chomping you lots. Let me count the 
ways and go fuck yourself. <laughs> Oscar. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> uh, can I get into a flank? I want to be away from the one that's eating my butt. Uh, flank where? Uh, with the one that uh, um, uh, Darian is attacking. That's 35. Alright, that's where we're going to go. Okay. And... These, hey. Uh... That's funny. I, I really should be beside Darian, but I don't fully understand his power. I'm going to stab the thing, and then it's going to try to kill me. <laughs> you can kill it. <clears throat> this is true. It's hurting. It's hurting. Alright. Surprise! <laughs> Natural 19, so that's a 26. I guess oh, that's right. fun for it, or 27. Yeah. Uh, that, that's just a. Uh... 27 hits? Uh, it's a crit. I guess it's 5 foot AC. Uh, oh, 5 foot AC, so his AC normally is 18. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so that is a crit against slot footed AC. Alright, so I have a deadly weapon that I'm shoving in its backside. Uh, 